Hi everybody, welcome back to another video. Today I have a project share. This is for um, my entry for With Love Brie. Um, she's having a giveaway challenge right now. Um, I'll have her link below if you want to check out the details. It is due by March 18th, so it's coming up here quick. But um, for extra points, you could make a 3D project. Um, so we'll get into that here in a minute. But she also required four embellishments. Um, so I like, I like making sets. So I started with this. I reused the sticker packaging. And I made these little coin embellishments. And I packaged them into like the waterfall style um, packaging so there's all those they all have a little dangle on them and I used butterfly eyelets so there's that one I also just made a couple of these little bows out of tulle and then I also have these um, like shaker cameras that I made they're pretty good size with the cute bag topper that she can just easily remove I also am just gifting her this mask because it's cute. Um, and then in here, I made this little box and inside there's a bunch of these, I don't know what to call them, like banner strips, I guess. They all have eyelets and dangles. They're all layered up. Super cute. Just pop them onto anything. And she said that she would like it if you could use Garden Party. So, um, yeah. Garden Party is, I think, my favorite collection other than confetti that Maggie Holmes has ever made. Okay, so for my 3D project, this is it. I made the um, little house that um, BBZ Crafts um, did a tutorial on this. And it turned out so cute. So I'll show what's in each drawer. In this drawer, I did um, some of the little ticket shakers and then these tiny um, star shakers. I love how little these are. So um, there's four of each shaker. I'm not gonna pull them out because they look nice right now. Hopefully they stay that way through the mail. Then in here, I did a bunch of teeny tiny rosettes and then just some of these layered hot air balloons that I layered up for her. And then in this top drawer here, it's kind of packed, but I put a bunch of handmade rolled flowers and also like the... Um, Lori's Lori inspired flowers uh, creating for fun um, but I just did them tiny she is doing a lot of tiny ones lately too um, and then in here this also opens up and I just added this little jar let me zoom in here so I did one of those little jars um, put a screw pin on top and dangled a few things. There's a little bell, the beads, and then the swan. Um, I drew this swan on Procreate, and then I had a sticker mule. We'll print these out and um, cut the acrylic and everything for you. Um, it comes with silver, uh, what are these called? split rings, maybe. Um, silver one's of those with a little lobster, lobster clasp, but I prefer gold, so I switched it out. But yeah, um, they are expensive, FYI. If you're ever considering doing something like that, it is expensive. It would be much cheaper to do what April um, does with the shrinky dinks if you're able to do the like printable shrinky dinks. But then inside I did the a bunch of these polka dot sequins she loves sequins she says that in like every video she makes so I thought I'd share a couple of jars one of just these polka dots and then one of a nice mix so in this one I do have um, a 
a video that'll be coming out that has um, a share of some uh, from, uh, I partnered with a Amazon seller and this is one of the beads that they sent me they also sent me these letter beads um, so yeah I just put those together on a screw pin and here is the pretty mix shows her how I use the polka dot sequins and I put them in these baggies just in case they pop open they're secured inside and there is room I could probably fit maybe one more thing but I think that is plenty of space so and I do I did three of these pink velcro dots because I wanted it to really stay closed in the mail but yes that is everything that I will be sending Brie I hope she loves it all and uh, go check her out anyways until next time happy crafting